Howdy, how you doing? It's uh, been a while. Uh, I haven't made a movie for this channel in a while. This is my Taish and Jason channel. It used to be, back in the day, YouTube had this thing where you could do a video response to someone. They would make a vlog about you know some topic and you would actually create and film a video and reply to their question or topic or give your own insider opinion. And so a lot of people made second channels for that reason and I did the same thing and then that kind of option went away and it, it, now it's not even available at all. And, uh, and so I kept this channel around. I used to do a lot of DVD type reviews and movie related stuff here and I put up some personal stuff from like vacations and things. So this is another movie related thing. So if you're into movies, hopefully you'll enjoy this. And uh, one big movie, of course, that's coming out in December um, that's long anticipated by me and, and millions of other people all over the world, including here in Japan, um, is the new Star Wars movie. So it was Force Friday. Uh, today's the 16th. Uh, no, it's not. It's the 17th. It's the 17th. It's Wednesday. No, it's Thursday. <laughs> so it's almost two weeks after Force Friday is my point. And um, uh, they, I don't know that we really had Force Friday here. I mean, we don't really have, you know, Toys R Us and Walmart and stuff here in Japan. Maybe there were some shops in Tokyo that opened that had a lot of Star Wars merchandise, etc. Et but I don't really think it happened here. And it's, I think online there were some things you could go and buy. And Star Wars, you know, you, there's a Japan Star Wars Facebook page, for instance. And I subscribe to that on my Facebook. And they send out notices about things and upcoming events. And we are getting the movie, luckily, um, the same day as everywhere else in the world, um, you know, in, in the middle of December. And I think it will be on IMAX. Um, and so there's an IMAX theater, which is, you know, a, a ways away from me in Kyushu in Fukuoka, but I might go there for my winter break and see it. Of course, I'm going to see it on the 18th. Um, uh, and, you know, leave a comment. Are you going to go see it opening day, opening night, opening weekend, sometime between opening and the end of the year? Um, so I'll definitely go see it. And, of course, it will, you can you could probably see it here dubbed in Japanese or in English with subtitles, so I'll see it that way. Um, I won't see it 3D. I don't really like 3D that much. But I would go see it IMAX 3D or just simply an IMAX. So we'll see if that becomes an option. And I have a friend, Brian, down in Fukuoka who said he'd go see it with me. So that might be a little like road trip I take during my Fuyu Yasumi, my winter vacation uh, from classes. But anyway, so when I went to go see TED, I went to see TED 2 and they gave out these little stickers uh, just with your ticket. Um, <laughs> and uh, uh, the other day in Hiroshima, I had to go turn in some visa paperwork. They already had a bunch of Star Wars merchandise on sale in, in the kind of, they sell a lot of merchandise at Japanese movie theaters. So I picked up um, the calendar for 2016 and I'm going to open it now. Um, well, here's the back. You can see all the pictures. The funny thing I thought about as I was driving home from the movies um, was I don't know that this really... I mean, of course, people went batshit crazy for The Phantom Menace. We didn't know before it came out that it wasn't going to be a very good film. And let, let alone did we know that the whole prequel trilogy was going to be really disappointing by and large. I don't know that I bought any merchandise before the movie came out. And I generally wouldn't do that anyway. I never buy a Blu-ray, for instance, if I haven't seen the movie. I, mean, I don't understand because, you know, let's say I bought a calendar for The Phantom Menace and then there's a whole month of Jar Jar or something. I mean, I would have been like, oh my God. So I did for this though. I, 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 I guess I just, I feel more confident. So pretty nice. I mean, you know, artwork. There's a Japanese holiday, so the calendar is definitely Japanese, you know. Um, and let's see, are there any pictures? Or is it all, oh, let's see, I thought it was pictures. Oh, it looks like it's all artwork. Okay, well, that's interesting to know. There's Chewie with the Millennium Falcon. So there's no, there's no giveaway pictures in here, I don't think. Uh, there's a new 
looks like X-Wing pilot. They don't have any names or they don't attribute anything. This a lot looks like Drew Struzan works. Struzan? I don't know how you say his name. There's, what is his name? Kolo, Kyolo Ren. And uh, this is this is the woman that's in um, Game of Thrones is playing this character, Captain Phasma, I think. I, I don't know how to say any of these names yet. I've just read about them on the internet. So okay, interesting. I didn't realize it was all it was all drawings. I guess if I had looked at the back a little closer, I would have figured that out. But I was just excited to see it. Um, you know, we've seen a lot of, of, of this guy. So we don't quite know who he is yet, etc. There's a lot of speculation. And there's another one of the guy with the cross lightsaber. And her, we've seen a fair amount of her. And the little, you know, little robot. And then here's a little, so, so absolutely nobody that we haven't really seen before. So there's no kind of giveaways in this. And then they have this whole calendar for 2017. You can just kind of put this up if you want. Uh, after the year ends. BB-88, of course, being the, the breakaway toy hit, the little remote control one. Um, so yeah, no Han Solo, for instance, in here, Luke, Leia, any characters uh, like that. Um, just uh, C-3O, R2-D2, and, and uh, Chewie. But uh, still, you know, pretty cool. Definitely worth getting. I'll probably put it up here in my office. Um, I just bought some stickers just to give away to some of my kids that I teach private tutoring to. And again, no characters on here you haven't seen before. A lot of the images are from the calendar, some of the same images. And then something I buy a lot here in Japan is something called a clear file. And it's the size of a piece of paper. And as you can see, you just open it, you put loose papers in here and I use them for my classes. So it's this collage image they're using a lot. Um, uh, on the front and then on the back, uh, kind of the, would you, would you, would we call them the bad guys? I guess maybe the bad guys, um, the empire, uh, on the back. So this was like, you know, these are like a 150, 200 yen. The stickers were probably just over a hundred and the calendar was probably like eight or 900 yen. So maybe a thousand yen. I, I can't remember. Um, I think it was about 1600 yen for all three items. So that's the only thing I bought so far. Um, I haven't bought any toys or figures. I probably won't, to be honest, um, since I'm out here. But uh, what have you bought? What, have, what, are, you, what are you enjoying? Um, after the movie comes out, if, if it just is a maze balls, and I really hope it is, um, I certainly will look into buying some other stuff. One thing I saw recently as a fanboy that I really liked is there's a, a site called Mondo. And they do clothing and toys and posters. Mondo, I think the site is Mondo Tees, T-E-E-S. And they have a $150 limited edition, really articulated, one six scale Teenage Mutant Ninja, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure uh, coming out soon. And they're going to do all four of the guys. But I think the first one's Leonardo. And there's just part of me that would love to buy that figure. But... You know, justifying $150 on a, on a figure is tough <laughs> nowadays. Um, but yeah, I'd love to get them. So uh, I, I will think. I think the first one comes out in November. So we'll see. Maybe I'll have to make a video about that. But anyway, let me know what you bought for the Force. If you bought anything on Force Friday or since then. And uh, how, how much you're looking forward to the movie. Let me know in a comment. And I'll try to uh, let you know what else happens that's groovy here in Japan surrounding Star Wars. Um, my, one of my students gave me this for a present just the other day. Um, it's just a little helmet replica thing. And uh, just Darth on a little stand. <laughs> so they, they're, all my students know how much I love Star Wars. So, All right, peace, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.